Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek and I'm glad you're here because today I kind of want to talk about something that has been on my mind for a while. Uh, as you guys know, I have not been making any streams or hardly any content the last week or so. Uh, a lot of it just due, is due to my mental health. It's been kind of bad and um, things are getting better. Things, things are getting better, I think. Uh, you know, I got my meds. Those are going good. I've been talking to my counselor. Um, been working out on that and I just been taking a break um, and I know that's probably doesn't make a lot of sense why I would be taking a break especially since I love doing this I love making this content but I was watching a video the other day from our friends of the channel uh, the confusing words and she has the same feeling about Pokemon that I have so as of late, um, we've had a few new sets. We've had Battle Styles, we've had Chilling Rain, then we have Evolving Skies coming up uh, for the English releases. And that's not including things like um, Celebrations and whatever else is coming out after Celebrations. Um, but I've been having a really rough time, and I've seen a lot of people having the same issues too with how packs have been just unboxings in general have been kind of bad. Like, uh, for some odd reason, uh, in the English sets, you're having problems, like, actually getting anything good. Um, and you kind of feel like you're wasting your money, but the pull rates have been absolutely bad lately. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on there, but the pull rates are awful. I don't know if maybe that's just due to the fact that Pokemon is churning out more and more product, and trying to keep up with demand which demand is slowing down which is something i like to see that's something i really like to see because i can actually go somewhere and actually buy some product which is great and you know scalpers are kind of going away for a little bit i see that rising a little bit once celebrations comes up but i said the same thing about chilling rain and it hasn't a lot of people are stuck with products that they thought they was going to make a ton of money off of and for a while, that was possible. For a while, maybe in a couple months, that was possible to buy some sets and people just buy them. And you had big YouTubers, you've had Twitch streamers, you've had people like the scalpers just coming in and just buying everything up. And now they're getting returns back from PSA and other grading places, as well as being stuck with boxes on boxes a product but they can't move and are having to sell them at retail or below retail price to see that with battle styles which is crazy because i never thought i would see pokemon go back to a 99 dollars booster box now some lgs's have raised the prices to around 120 to 140 uh, for a booster box and some have not they've kind of lowered the price it's just really the demand is slowing down to compare how it used to be but for some odd reason i don't know why there's a problem with pull rates i feel there for a while pull rates was awesome like uh and i started back in 2020 um and i you know mainly this channel was focused on japanese which that's something we're going to watch here in a few minutes um and the pull rates in there was fine but uh you know we had vivid voltage Hampton's Path, and Shining Fates. We had these really big sets where you was getting something nice. Same thing like Vivid Voltage, you know, you pull a green card, but that didn't mean you lost, you could pull an amazing rare. And in a lot of cases, the boxes are stacked pretty damn well for the most part. But with Battle Styles, and I think Battle Styles was okay for its pull rates, it wasn't terrible. But with Chilling Rain, it's been awful. And I've seen a lot of channels thinking the same thing. Like, you know, what the hell? I'm wasting my money. I'm spending all these money on packs and booster boxes. And I'm not getting anything in return. And this isn't a thing about money. This is, in fact, reflect as a collector. You know, whenever I open a pack, I, you know, I know it's a gamble. I know it's a gamble. But why is it so much harder to pull anything good anymore? And I have a feeling that Evolving Skies is going to be the same way. We have all these super nice alternate arts 
but nobody's really pulling. And I don't know what the pull rates are, um, especially for Chilling Rain. It's really weird, really strange. And I'm kind of hoping things get better with Celebrations, at least. Uh, Evolving Skies is coming out, which he may open some Evolving Skies, but I don't think I'm going to buy a booster box. Um, I may buy some packs here and there, maybe some ETBs. Uh, that could be something I'd be pre-ordering. Uh, but I don't think I'll be getting a booster box of Evolving Skies. Um, but I want to get to this, is that... I, I do like collecting Pokemon. I really do. And I feel like it makes me happy. It's my it's my happy thing, but I spend way too much money on it, so I gotta slow it down a little bit. Um, and that kind of feeds into content. It's not gonna be as much, but we are gonna be doing Japanese sets a whole lot more. Um, you know, every time a new Japanese set comes out, we'll get us a couple boxes. We'll open them up here on the channel, and, you know, we also have, you know, the giveaways that i you know, been wanting to do. Those may slow down just a tiny bit, because uh, I don't plan on opening nearly as much English stuff, at least until um, Celebrations comes out, because there's a lot of stuff in Celebrations that I do want. Um, you know, I still, I, I'm going to try to get at least one in Japanese, which they're expensive now. For some odd reason, on Hello Japan, a booster box, or I guess it's a 16 pack box of celebrations, is $199. Well, euros, which is an equivalent of maybe 300 some dollars. That's why it's coming up on my end. I don't know if you guys have looked into buying celebrations, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. But one thing I want to say is, even though we may be slowing down on the channel, <laughs> I am going to try, since my mental health is improving, there's a couple things I want to do. Uh, one, I want to improve myself and the videos, and when I say I want to improve myself, I want to improve my mental health and my physical health weight loss. I do need to lose my weight. Um, I had a surgery back in August and I've gained nearly 30 pounds after losing 70. And I don't want to go back to being a diabetic. I don't want high blood pressure again. I don't want this. And I keep on saying I'm going to do it, but I don't. I keep on, you know, fucking up, basically. And this is how we're at, you know, this is basically the state of the channel. We've had a video kind of similar to this earlier on, maybe the last couple weeks or so, but I don't think I really went into in depth. You know, I, I see you guys making comments on the channel videos, and I absolutely love the fact that you're doing that. I, I love seeing the support. It makes me feel really happy to see the support. It's awesome that I can start making friends, uh, especially, you know, we got a friend of the channel, um, the confusing words, and, you know, I've talked to her on her videos, like, in terms, of, like, on her, on her comments, we've talked a little bit. Um, I'd love to get her on the channel one day, maybe do a pack battle, hopefully maybe do the Nerds Pokey cast which I'm so far behind, guys, so far behind. Um, I'm going to be tying my work a little bit into the channel as well. You may see that right now with the uh, the Purple Haze Vehicle Wrap video, which was pretty cool. I am not the best at editing. I never have been, but I want to try to improve that as well. Um, you know, I want to make the channel a whole lot more approachable. And I don't want to spend a lot of money because I've got stuff that I left planned. You know, we got a wedding coming up next October. We got we're getting a place together. Um, you know, all the bills and you know, we got cats and we're just trying to make things better basically. I'm just trying to improve everything. And I do want to make the main focus of this channel Pokemon. That's how I that's how I want to approach it. But I do want to continue my streaming. Uh, we have some Pokemon games coming out within the end of the year and beginning of next year. 
So we'll be having plenty of Pokemon content. You know, we'll have plenty of openings. They won't be as much, but we'll still have plenty. And we may do something similar to what we did on Monday with our Chilling Rain versus Vivid Voltage um, pack, which was pretty cool. I did sell my first edition Gengar, which it wasn't in the greatest shape, but I have another Gengar. It wasn't first edition, but you know, I was wanting to open some packs. I wanted to give you guys some content. And, you know, I think it turned out pretty well. I think it did. I think, I think things are improving um, for me mentally um, I'm hoping with Monday I can start streaming again maybe as soon as I start around eight o'clock like well usually we got Dead Space 2 to start going through that's that's a big game we have to go through uh, and Dead Space 3 and all that other stuff and we got other games coming out um, there's a lot of stuff I want to do there's a lot of things I want to improve I want this to be a channel, not just for me, but for you guys. I want to see some growth. I know we haven't really got a lot of growth, but I am thankful for every single person that even stops by to view my channel or hits that subscribe button. I mean, it's great. It makes me feel, it helps me with my self-esteem. And I know, but I should not be concentrating on numbers. And that's one thing I need to try to do. I've been concentrating on numbers. Almost every single video I ask, hey, once we have 500 followers, we're giving away this, that. Let's make 500 followers. By doing that, I'm making myself stress. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be doing it because I love it. I shouldn't be doing it for numbers. Of course, numbers are nice. Don't get me wrong. Numbers are great. But it's just, just crazy that... In the span of two or three weeks, my mental health has just dramatically fucked up everything uh, with the channel. And I hate that because you guys deserve better. And I say, I keep on emphasizing, you guys, you are the reason why I do this. I do this because it makes me happy to do it, but it also makes me happy knowing that you are entertained or you have a place to come by to relax and not have to, you know, worry just for the five to 10 minutes the video is or however long we make it. I want to be approachable for, for you guys. I want to be approachable. I want you guys to be able to come to me if you, you know, and just get help. And that makes me go to my next point. Don't be afraid to get help at all. Don't. I know it sucks. I know it sucks sometimes. It, it, and I, I'm experiencing it right now. Like you think that nothing but the worst is coming. And doing that kind of hurts things. Now, I thought that, you know, I got this new job and I didn't think I was going to get it. And it happened. And that was a good thing. And I'm still trying to process this because it's my dream job. It's a job I've always wanted. And I finally got it. But I don't know why I'm still sad. I don't know why I'm still unhappy. I, you know, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know if it's maybe the meds. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something. I want to reignite that spark for everything. I want to make things better for me, fiance, family, friends, you guys, the ch channel. You know, I want to do it all but I really have to try my best to make it happen. I need to do better. And that's why I'm making this video is because I need to do better. So in the future, we will be having Pokemon card unboxings, but the emphasis will mainly be for the most part, Japanese sets. Um, if you go and watch the confusing words, she has a video where she talks about the same thing and she got me thinking about it and I think um, I think things are getting better and of course like I said we may open some more packs in English of course celebrations a little bit of Evolving Skies but I'm not going to go all in on Evolving Skies we already opened up EV Heroes we're getting ready to open up the two new Japanese sets as soon as they get shipped out I don't that's Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. 
it's supposed to be in here. I, I would have thought people are already opening up their boxes online. So I, I keep on looking at the sign that says awaiting replenishments. I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> like I pre-ordered these things months ago. Months ago. It, it will happen and there will be some unboxings of that. And I can't wait because I really want to try to get that um, VMAX Rayquaza. I don't think we'll ever pull that. But I would say the pull rates for that set is insane. Now, I was even seeing that in some cases, if you buy a box of either one of these sets, you're not guaranteed a secret rare. And I've seen that from PTCD Radio, which give him a follow. He's awesome, too. Um, yeah. It's some weird stuff, man. It's it's just like they're making it harder to pull good stuff. Cause so you're gonna continue buying and buying more shit. And I don't know if that's per on purpose. Maybe most likely because Nintendo and Pokemon need to make money. And right now they wasn't making money from you know people like releasing the amount of shit they had and just allowing the scalpers to sell it all for triple. Uh, quadruple the actual price of you know MSRP, but I think right now at this point Pokemon are have increased production, and I think with that increase of production with more product, it's making it harder to actually pull good things because there's so much come. I mean, I you go looking on the shelves over at Walmart, and yeah, we had a Vivid Voltage reprint, had a lot of that. And you're seeing tons and tons of chilling rain and battle styles. Battle styles are starting to go down a little bit, but I see a lot of chilling rain. More so than any set that I've ever opened. And it's crazy. I've Today I stopped at Walgreens and I looked for Pokemon cards just to see what they had. And normally they don't carry them, but they did have... A couple packs of Chilling Rain. You know, Walmart last night, they had Chilling Rain, abundance of it. They didn't, have very, they didn't have any, like, booster, well, elite trainer boxes or anything like that, but they had a lot of packs of Chilling Rain. So I'm, uh, my, my theory behind this is that a lot of stuff is getting printed, a whole lot more is getting printed, demand is now being met, but with these re these prints, we're starting to since there's so much coming out, um, it's getting harder and harder to see good stuff. Cause I mean, we've opened up a booster box of Chilling Rain, and it was abysmal. Like it was terrible. Um, the confusing words. She's opened up plenty of Chilling Rain. It's been terrible. Like it's been bad. It's been bad as fuck. I don't know what's going on. But I'm rambling. I'm going into a tirade, and I shouldn't. Keep watching, guys. We will get some uh, giveaways coming soon. We have a ton of code cards. I'm going to split these up into three different videos, maybe four possibly, uh, for the next couple months. And, you know, just keep an eye out. We'll have more unboxings. Keep it out on the streams um, and some other surprises in the future. And I promise I'll get the next episode of the Pokecast up as soon as possible. It's just it's been busy. Guys, I love you very much, and feel free to hit that follow button, and again, peace, or love, or whatever. <laughs>